The next mask I want to cover is the radio mask. So we're going to click on our little masking icon here in Lightroom and we're going to choose radio gradient. Now when we choose radio gradient again we're going to get the crosshairs and we would just want to drag across the area that we want the mask to affect. All right? We can grab the center and move the mask anywhere we want. If you want the mask to be a perfect circle Let's uh, reset this and we'll grab our uh, radio gradient. If you hold your shift key down, it will make a perfect circle and you can put that in place. If you want to adjust the size of your gradient, you just grab any one of these buttons on the edges and you make it whatever size or shape you want. If it's an oblong size and you have to change the angle, you can grab this little button here and you can change the angle. Once you have the size, uh, oh, one other tip, if you want to just change the size uh, of one side, if you hold your alternate or option key down on a Mac and grab the side you want to change, you can change just one side instead of the whole thing. If you hold your shift key down, it will resize it in proportion. So uh, it, makes the, it keeps the oval shape and will uh, resize it in proportion. The next thing we want to thing we want to consider is our feather. All right, the feather is how much the effect we want to apply. So the center of the radio gradient is 100%. From the inner line to the outer line, it goes from 50 to 100%. I'm sorry, 50 to 0%. So 100 from this line, 50 to 0. So as we apply our change. You can see the center gets a lot of it and the edges only get portions of it. Right. You can change the feather by grabbing the feather button here and widen it out. With no feather, it looks very stark, right? not very natural. With 100% feather, it's a very gradual change that only the center gets the biggest part. You can also make the change in the feather. You have a feather slider does the exact same thing as if you were grabbing the feather button. It just allows you to do it manually with a feather slider. If you want to invert it, you have the ability to do that. So if you were to uh, hit the invert button down, all the effect would be on the outside and only the center part would be not affected. All right. This is a good tool. Uh, let's say if you wanted to apply a vignette. So let's uh, reset this and we're going to grab the radial gradient and we're going to make a big old circle like right here. We'll make a, a semi-wide feather and we're going to click invert and we're going to change exposure and you can see now we've made a good vignette so we bring the viewer's eyes right into the center of our picture. In addition to vignetting, uh, the radio filter is probably one of the more powerful and the most used of the gradients. And let me show you real quick what we can do with it. So we're going to grab a radio gradient and we're going to put some light on our trees here in the tree line. And we're going to increase exposure just a little bit. And, and I'm not going to be too fancy with this. I just want to show you what we can do with just some localized light changes. And we'll put a little light there. Let's put one more on little small trees over here. Because we know the light's coming in from the right here. And it's lighting up these outcroppings. All right. And now what we want to do is make some subtle changes to light in the grass. But as you can see right here, there's some light hitting here. And it's hard to see on the video, but there's some light hitting here. And that's light coming in from the right to the left. And also getting some, believe it or not, reflection off these bright leaves onto the grass. So we want to bring that out a little bit too. So let's create a new mask, a radial gradient. And this is going to be a very thin line with a high feather. We're going to put the feather all the way at 100%. We're going to grab the very end and rotate it around. We're going to put that right there. And we're going to increase the exposure just a little bit. 
add a little warmth to it. And I'm kind of overdoing it so you can see it on the video. Uh, I probably wouldn't put that much in real life. All right, we're going to create another radial gradient and we're going to put it right on the edge here. Give that a little exposure. And one more under the little tree right here. Give it a little golden light. And as you can see, now we have applied a little light. In fact, let's put one more on right here, the radio gradient right here. Give that a little light, a little more gold. So if we look at before and after, before and after, and what we did, we put one, two, three, four, five, six, seven radial gradients on, and it just made all the difference in the world on the way the light looks on this scene. So the radial gradient is very, very powerful because you can be very localized with it. And as with any of the uh, gradients that we talked about earlier, you have the amount feather, uh, amount slider right here. So we can change the amount of each particular uh, gradient. So if we wanted to change the way the light hits on the grass here, we can modify that gradient in a very minor way, just like that, or increase it. And that is how we use our radio gradients.